Welcome to another edition of That Time When. This is the podcast series where I take you through the archive of Trek Zone, catching you up on things that you might have missed. If you are new to the channel, you might not have seen this content from a couple of years ago. If you are new, welcome. Click subscribe, ring the notification bell. That'll send you notifications every time I post new content on YouTube. If you're listening to me on a podcast, subscribe to notifications there as well. Tell the app that you want to download fresh episodes that I release as soon as they are available. We are almost at the end of our 2021 season, which means we're almost through our 2019 season of uh, retrospective look backs. This one is when we met Liz Landau from NASA and learned all about the Artemis missions coming up in the next couple of years. This is Trek Zone's That Time When. And you can get exclusive behind the scenes info and first play access to all Trek Zone podcasts by becoming a member today. Click join on every Trek Zone video on YouTube. Go to the trek.zone slash support or scan the QR code on screen throughout the show. Welcome to a very special edition of a Trek Zone Conversation. Matt Miller with you and with me as he is every Tuesday. It's a very special Friday edition of the show. Dr. Brad Tucker is here in Canberra. Brad, uh, welcome. We have a special guest today. Yes, uh, exciting. Uh, someone I've had the pleasure of working with uh, over the past year or two uh, and uh, someone who's coming up to Australia soon. It is absolutely awesome and it is a very special Trek Zone. Welcome to Liz Landau from NASA. Liz, thanks for having a Trek Zone conversation today. It's so great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Now, tell us a little bit about uh, what you do at NASA. Sure. So, um, normally I'm at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and I am the senior storyteller. And that means that I get to work with all different kinds of space missions and science programs across NASA to tell really engaging stories for the public um, in terms of feature stories for NASA websites, in terms of podcasting, in terms of video. Um, so I get to work across a lot of different platforms. And actually right now at the moment, I'm on what we call a detail, which is a remote assignment at NASA headquarters in Washington, DC. Um, and I've been here for six months, uh, learning the ropes, learning how the agency works at the highest levels. and. Uh, doing a lot of astrophysics communications and public affairs. Um, So it's been really exciting. That is really cool. And Brad, uh, how did you get to meet Liz? So uh, Liz was putting together a bunch of uh, stuff on the Kepler Space Telescope, which uh, I did a lot of work on. Um, And one of the cool things that Liz and and, and her team did was they created like essentially, uh, it's one of my favorite things still, the life of a star. And so they took a whole bunch of different you know, real science discoveries, a lot from the Kepler mission uh, about, you know, how stars and planets form, how they live their lives. And what my area was, was how they die. And so by, you know, really putting, because some of the science that we're doing is, is, is fairly detailed and abstract, but when presented well, has a a great story, especially great visual behind it. So they put some amazing graphics and animations together and interweaved all of these segmented pieces of research into really what it is what we're trying to do, and that is the life of a star. It's it's just fascinating stuff, as uh, you know, to see how it all comes together and and to meet the people that that work on all of this stuff because there are real humans out there on the internet and and in podcasts uh, learning all of this stuff. Uh, Liz, what's been a highlight for you uh, as a storyteller? Yeah, actually, I mean, the project that Brad just highlighted, the life and death of a planetary system, uh, which is also the life of and death of a star. Really, um, that's been a real joy to work on. Um, Also, since I've come to NASA headquarters, I've been working with Jim Green, our chief scientist, on a podcast called Gravity Assist, uh, which is in its third season, and the season is all about the moon. In the last six months, I've a whole lot about the moon. Uh, NASA is going forward to the moon and on to Mars, uh, and I'm really excited about the program in development. 